Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Painted. In this video, we're going to be painting up one of the miniatures, one of the heroes from Tiny Epic Dungeons, which I've just finished unboxing and I want to, you know, paint up a miniature. I'm going to go and spend some quality time alone with it, play it solo mode. Why not have my first miniature painted up ready for me to go play with myself? For this video, I'm going to be painting up, I don't know how to say his name, but it's the ancient wizard. Wizard, 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 wizard. However, for this video, I'm going to be painting up Jeren the Blue. He's the ancient wizard, and this is the only art that I could find to go off of. There's not a lot to go off, but I'll try and stick to it anyway. With that in mind, I have primed him using Citadel's Grace here, which is their contrast paint. It's, I, 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 I've, I've disrespected it over the years, but I'm actually now find with the speed paints by the army painter, it gives a smoother finish. So I'm actually going to use that. I've gone with a gray because I want his beard to be quite gray. And this is just going to tone it down to grays as well as it's blues and purples I'm going to be using, which give it a colder look and feel. But it should be a smooth finish. I don't know how well this will go. This miniature is quite smooth. And as we already know, contrast paints, speed paints work better on heavily textured miniatures. But nevertheless, you know, We'll, we'll see how this comes off because it will hopefully only take a couple of minutes, which is win-win for me. So blue by name, blue by nature. I'm just going to get stuck straight in using Magic Blue, the new Speed Paint by Army Painter. It applies exactly the same as Contrast or, or Speed Paint. Or there's a few other options out there, but basically this one coat job done business. I'm going to apply this all over his robe and just bring that to a nice blue looking colour. It's, I can't tell in the artwork if it's blue, but it, it, you know, it's in his name. So I'm just going to paint in blues and purples and hope for the best. I think he's going to look pretty good. I'm going to use a small brush because it's a teeny tiny miniature and I want some control over this, making sure it's not pooling. It's quite a flat looking robe. So I want to try and make sure I spread the excess into the recesses. I'll do the best I can. But ultimately, I'm just testing how this comes out in these tiny miniatures. Just as a bonus side note here, this is an absolutely gorgeous blue. I get that that is subjective, but let me know in the comments below how you feel about this blue because it is definitely one of my favorite blues ever. I'm really into blue lately and I'm not even not even sure why, but definitely this is up there in my top two blues. With that blue looking absolutely magical, we're gonna do his cloak next. And for his cloak, I'm gonna use Hive Dweller Purple. Again, another speed paint in the new speed paint range. And yeah, maybe upgrade to the bigger brush this time because it's a bigger, easier to reach area. Switching down to the small brush around his collar and for the back of his book, let's do that in purple as well. So two little bits of purple. I'm gonna go for his cloak and the back of his book. So that's the bulk of the miniature out of the way. And I'm gonna use a little splish splash of this flaccid boner to paint in the pages of his spell book. Using the small brush again, it's going to be nice and easy. Make sure you get both the pages and down the sort of, what do you call this bit? It's all the pages though, isn't it? Like the 3D part of the pages. Get all of those too, and that's going to bring this book to life. While we're concentrating on the book, I'm going to use a single drop of blood red, and I'm going to paint up the tassels, the bookmarks, I, I think, maybe? Page for holders? I don't know what these are for. But I'm going to do this in red. I think that's going to complement the blues and the purples well, as well adding a splash of different colour to the detail. Simple as that. For his beard and his hair, I'm going to use Holy White. Again, small brush, little drop. You're only going to need a little drop of this. And basically, because we use that grey sear primer, this Holy White is going to be almost grey. It's going to have some darker bits in the recesses, but it's just going to be light grey on the front and the, the raised parts, the highlights, and pretty much he looks like he's more or less a gray beard in the artwork. Obviously, we can highlight a little bit of white on top if we want. Well, look how it looks once this is dried. For his boots and braces, but not his laces, I am gonna use dark wood. It's the dark brown speed paint. I'm gonna go all the way around his braces. Doesn't matter too much if I go right to the edges. I'm gonna do some detailing with gold later, but on not one of his boots is right foot. You can see his laces just about in the detail, so I'm gonna try and avoid them just so I can paint his laces in a different color. But yeah, this will this will be a quick little paint splash and we're done another color. The next part of him to get a dab of paint is his skin. And for that, I'm gonna use the Crusader skin speed paint. Uh, small brush again, I'm just gonna get his face and both of his hands, very, very simple, straightforward. Try not to get too much on the brush because this could run off of his hand all over the book or down his staff, stuff like that. But just slow and steady is gonna win the race here. It's not, I, you know, it's, it's all a lot of just painting little bits, one color, very, very quick job, but take your time with this little bit. 
And we are already on to our last speed paint. For this, I'm gonna use hardened leather, and this is gonna be for the staff of his staff, the rod of his staff, the woody bit of his staff. I'm gonna leave the bottom to doing gold, or I might catch it now, it doesn't really matter. The gold should go nicely over the top. In fact, it might help it to sort of do a coat of this first. And then I'm gonna do his laces as well. Just to give you guys the heads up, off camera I've added a very quick base, uh, black rim just to tidy this up, and then I've sprayed this using Army Painters anti anti matte finish, anti shine matte finish. Just this var. Oh my god, how close is the camera? Zoom out. Zzz, zzz, just the matte varnish that they sell, and that's just going to protect these speed paints. Now we've painted them up. The reason I did that before moving on to the final bits is just I'm going to be painting on some metallics. They have a more satiny finish, so I thought I'd not get the matte varnish on that. And I either won't bother varnishing them because they're quite hard to touch anyway, so they're probably pretty well protected. Or I'll apply some paint on satin varnish afterwards. So let's paint on some details. First and foremost, I'll be applying the bright gold paint by Army Paint, and we're no longer using speed paint, so I'm going to be going for some detailing, and all of this is just normal war paint range now. We want to catch all of the trim, so he's got this kind of belt, he's got some bits around his shoulders and his neckline as well. He's got the edges of those braces that he's wearing on his wrists, as well as a bunch of details on, on his spell book, so the corners, as well as these signs on there too. I'm going to get the bottom of his staff as well, just to mix that up, give that another colour. I think that'll look nice with a bit of gold on the bottom. He's wearing a jewel a gem something some sort of amulet on his on his beard so we'll get the trim for that as well i think that's everything but it's going to be these details that really pop out these speed paints we've, we've gained a lot of time saved a lot of life by speed painting up to now but a few little bits of work with details using normal paints and this is going to go from looking pretty good to looking pretty fantastic and then for the final bit of detailing on this model, I just want to make the top of his staff that's magical. I want to make it look a bit shram. And for that, I'm going to use Void Shield Blue, just a normal war paint by the Army Painter, as I mentioned. I'm detailing just using normal paint. So I'm going to thin thin this down and apply it. You could dry brush it over even if you want, but in this particular instance, I'm just going to paint it over the top of all the swirls and pop that out a little bit more, just make it look a little bit more interesting. Even though the blue looked fantastic just using the speed paint, it's too close to the rest of his robe, and I just want to bring a different color to the miniature make it look a bit glowy a bit magical and then i'm going to go and paint his eyes off camera because they are teeny tiny but i do want them to glow a little bit blue as well i'm not going to add osl i'm just going to paint them blue i'm not going to do it on camera i will apologize for that but they're too small i need to get a look bit closer to this miniature if you want some tips though i would advise setting your arms on the desk putting down that bottle of whiskey and maybe taking off your glasses if you're short side if you're not short side perhaps watch many 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 more of our videos on the channel nice and close to your screen wrecking your eyes so you might be able to get a better view on this guy's eyes and with that we are completely finished now guys i think this has come out looking absolutely fantastic this was a really really quick paint job it took tens of minutes at, at well under 30 minutes absolutely no doubt about it now i did go into this thinking it wouldn't come out that good using speed paints there's a lot of sort of flat big flat surfaces although the, the cape's got the folds and the cloak's got the folds it, it does hide it well um maybe i should i didn't give it the credit it was due these miniatures are a lot better than they look i think and i think this paint job speaks for itself it was very very small but i've still managed to do his eyeballs in an acceptable level in fact i'm quite happy with those i'm not seeing it through the camera at the minute and i think that might make me cry once i see it we'll, we'll see in a minute let me know in the comments below how you think I did with the eyes today. Anyway guys, obviously this was my first paint job from Tiny Epic Dungeons and I need to go and touch up that panda next. Let me know below if you'd like to see any other miniatures from the games painted. Thank you all ever so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. I didn't have that much hopes for it, to be honest. It was pretty plain, pretty blah, 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 blah.